About a month ago, I chopped down my Raphidophora tetrasperma and my Philodendron bipenifolium completely down and I have a month update on how they're doing, how the cuttings for those plants are doing, and then I also propagated my philodendron micans and i also have an update on that plant and i'm probably gonna end up potting the cuttings in this video because their roots are kind of long so first of all the plant that i chopped down first was my raphidophora tetrasperma and it was pretty much like literally actually cut down to this last leaf and you can see where I cut right here and the new growth has sprouted. It already has two new leaves and it's pretty much like a completely new plant and it looks great. It's growing. Um, yeah, rafts grow, in my opinion, rafts grow pretty fast. I've been keeping this plant outside on my east patio. So it's been getting a little bit of direct sunlight like in the mornings and stuff. Um, but other than that, it's been getting indirect light, just a lot of sunlight though. And you can see that's probably why it's been growing so fast. So I'm really happy with how it's doing. And let me show you the cuttings for this plant. So two leaves in the cutting did die, but that is okay because we can just bury that part deeper in soil. I didn't cut off any of the leaves that yellowed or anything like that because I wanted you guys to like see. I think that this leaf came off because it was just completely underwater and usually it's not the best to put a leaf completely underwater because it will end up dying like that. Here are the very drippy roots. You can see there's a lot of them and it's actually gonna be a little bit difficult to untangle. So I did take a lot of cuttings of the raff. It was a pretty tall plant and like you saw, I cut it down to one single leaf. And I think almost all of the cuttings have grown out like new leaves. But let me, let me take a moment to untangle this. Okay, so this one here was the top cutting. This is a ton of roots. This is one month of being put in water. And I also had um, two rooted golden pothos in there as well. Um, and I'm doing a little experiment right now to see if golden pothos actually help with rooting quickly. But these are the two golden pothos that I had in there. And I think... Honestly, it helps because this is a lot of growth for just one month. Um, these were next to a south-facing window, but they were kind of in in the corner of where the south-facing window is, so they didn't get very much light. Um, and you can see they're kind of facing downwards because they were up high and they were trying to get down to the sun. <laughs> Maybe that was a mistake because now they're facing downwards. But this was the top cutting and... It does have a little new leaf coming out. It's a kind of janky new leaf, but that's okay. It was growing in just water, so I think they're ready to pot. So this was the top cutting. This was a middle cutting. This is all the growth. And the second node right here looked like it did not, it looked like it rooted actually. And there's also a bunch of roots down here. And you can see there is a new leaf or like a new stem about to come out from the top there. So that's ready to be potted. And here's another middle cutting. I think this one has the least roots of them all, but it does have a lot of new growth. So you can see that's definitely like a whole new split. And this leaf is completely yellowed and I'm just gonna pull that off because we don't need yellow leaves over here. And this was the bottom most cutting and this one is the one that has grown the most in new growth like that is that is a lot that's a lot of new growth and there's even a <laughs> there's even an aerial root coming out of that new growth if you can see it sticking out there it's a it's rooted the new growth rooted and yeah it's looking really good so these look like they're ready to be potted up so we're gonna pop those up in a second 
And then the other plant was my philodendron by Penifolium, and I cut this one down so that it had four leaves yet, but two of the leaves died off, and if you remember how the plant looked, I'll try to insert some footage here. Um, it did, like the leaves were kind of yellowing, so they were going to fall off anyways. So they did fall off, and now we're left with these two, but we got some new growth. There's one leaf that has completely unfurled. It's very yellow. Well, it's, it's, it actually looks more green in real life. But um, it is more yellow than I would like. Keep in mind, it does look more green in person, but it's still a very yellow leaf. So um, we're going to have to get to the bottom of that. But there's roots starting to pop out at the bottom of this pot. So we're going to see what I end up doing with this plant. I'm excited. I'm also kind of a little bit concerned because the leaves are facing this way. And then the new growth is facing the complete opposite way. And I wanted it to be more aligned, which is why I cut it. <laughs> so there's that going on. And here is the cutting. Um, so this one does have a lot less roots than the tetraspermas, like a, a very lot less. And um, that is because it spent all its energy putting out this new leaf. So this is a completely new leaf since I is this and it also has another one coming out of its little sheath right there so I would have preferred it to focus on growing roots but it's okay if it wanted to grow some new leaves so I think I'm gonna wait to pot this one because I would feel comfortable if there were some more roots in there and I'm gonna put back the rooted pothos cuttings because I feel like they're doing their job. So if you saw how I had the plants in here, there was a lot of plants in here and they were, there were a bunch of leaves like kind of overlapping each other. And I think that's why some of the plants yellowed or some of the leaves yellowed and fell off. And yeah, because they were kind of blocking the sun of the other leaves, but we're gonna let that continue rooting, but I still think that's a lot of growth for just one month of being in water. There's another whole new leaf coming out, which is so exciting. So the other plant that I propagated, I have to look at the video because I feel like I put some cuttings in water, but I don't know where I put them. So, <laughs> What I have are these little baggy cuttings and I remember putting these little baggy cuttings because I wanted to have like a plant right away because I didn't want to have to transition the roots from water to soil because that can take a toll on the plant. So I just put it directly into soil. They're looking great. They're looking great if I'm being honest. So let me take it out of here. I think within within that month i only watered the plant like once in that time and honestly i probably should have watered it more um you can see all this is new growth and you can probably see all the aerial roots coming around everywhere they're all crazy you could probably also see there's a lot of like dying leaves and i'm gonna say that is because this did not get as much sun as it should have like i feel like propagation should get a lot more sun like not direct sun but just like bright bright and direct light i feel like it should be bright to help the plants root faster because they need more energy to put into growing their roots they're also putting out some new leaves at the same time that they're trying to grow out roots so they do need more sun but i kept it I kept it in an east facing window, but the curtain was down the whole entire time. It's not a curtain that like completely blocks out the sun, but it did block out a lot of the sun that I would have preferred <laughs> to be shining through the lights. And it's because my mom is kind of a vampire. She does not like bright light. It's like, I she comes into my room and she's like, oh my gosh, it's so bright in here. And I'm like, wow, I kind of wish it was brighter though. <laughs> so like, we're the complete opposites in that regard. Um, and then this is my other one. 
and I feel like this one is doing a lot better because it's in a more open container and this container does not have any drainage holes at the bottom so I actually yeah I only watered it once since it's been in here for a month and this one has been doing a lot better you can see the new growth like this this appears new growth anything sticking up looking like little sprouts is new growth and I can tell that it's rooted. I don't really want to disturb it quite yet to see where the roots are, but I also kind of do want to disturb it to see where the roots are because I'm interested. But I'm not gonna, it looks great, so I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna wait another month before I take it out of the plastic bag. And sometimes the transition of <laughs> going from plastic bag to just air, can be hard on like if you were struggling with a plant and you put it in a plastic bag to help it revive and you take it out that's kind of hard but for propagations it's really easy you just take it out of the bag and it's fine it might like grow a little bit slowly at first because it's just getting used to having less humidity and some of the aerial roots you will notice will start to die back but that's okay because the roots and soil are going to stay alive. Um, but yeah, it's a lot easier of a transition than going from water to soil. And I prefer going from bag to just plain air. All right, so I'm going to pot this raff. And I guess that's all I'm going to be potting up today. I bought <laughs> several different pots to choose from. I feel like I would want to use this bigger pot but it's kind of huge. And then my next size is this four inch pot, which is kind of tiny. So I think I'm just gonna go with the huge pot. Oh, well I also have this. Maybe I should put it into here. This is the pot my little Birkin came in. Um, I think I'll keep it in here. When I transition my plants from water to soil, I like to keep it moist, like do not let the soil dry out for like a month until I start treating it like a regular plant that just lives in soil. I feel like it's okay to have it in a plastic pot because the soil doesn't dry as quickly. Um, and then I feel like it also would have been okay if I kept it in this terracotta pot because there is so much soil that it wouldn't dry out super quickly, but it's a terracotta which would help in the drying so it wouldn't stay sopping wet. But I'm gonna put it in here first and if it grows enough, then I will repot it. By the way, every time I pot, I have to use this scooper. This is the best scooper ever. Someone, a subscriber actually sent this to me and it's like, how did I live my life without this scooper before? Um, I'm gonna link similar ones to in the description because, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, it's literally like my favorite. Potting is not the same without the scooper. If I'm somewhere where I don't have my scooper and I'm potting up plants, then it's just like, it's just a struggle. I'm using like a four inch pot trying to scoop. I hate doing that. I hate using a four inch pot to scoop into another pot. So I cannot recommend enough the scooper. But let's just set this up set it up nicely. I think I'm gonna have all of the leaves kind of facing the same way so that it will look pretty. And like here, sorry I already got a little soil on it. You can see that three notes up there's a root coming out and this leaf is gonna be pretty much underground so I wouldn't be surprised if it dies off in the future but it could potentially stay on there for quite a while. So I'm gonna try not to bury that one. So I'm just positioning it to how I think would look pretty. <laughs> it looks kind of crazy right now, but. So there we go. I kind of potted it really low in here. There's like two inches of just like non soil covered area, but um, all of the roots are covered, which is what matters most. And let me remove this. Sorry, I just had to take this sticker off because it was bothering me. 
but um, I think it's gonna look very nice when it kind of like all aligns to the sun and I think I'm gonna end up repotting it in the end so that I can put it with a steak or like a trellis. I'm gonna put this one on a trellis and since there are four cuttings in here I think it's gonna fill the trellis up very nicely and I rather start while the plant is young and short than trying to detangle and attach that thing to stakes. <laughs> so that's what we have here. And the reason that I say that is because when I chopped up this plant, I did it because I wanted the plant to have bigger leaves. And in order for it to have bigger leaves, I need to stake it up on a trellis. And I didn't do that. And look how tiny all this new growth is. It's very small. So I think in a separate video, I'm gonna try and go through the process of detangling this and putting it up on a trellis. But <laughs> I just want big leaves and these leaves are little tiny bibis. It's okay. We'll get it we'll get it staked up we'll get it staked up soon well, that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i always have a blast potting up my plants because it's literally my favorite thing about owning plants is potting them repotting them um anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye